Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the Virtual Lab series of video blog presentations on various diverse scientific computing topics. As you can see here, the topic of today's presentation is on the importance of composite materials in modern technology, for example for high-strength adhesive applications, and how first-principle atomistic and electronic structure simulations can expedite and accelerate their research and discovery, especially when operated in conjunction with machine learning-based computational techniques. So, let us begin our main scientific presentation of today. In recent years, composite materials, which are lighter yet stronger than steel, have garnered considerable attention. These materials find their use in a broad spectrum of areas, including everyday objects like bicycles, badminton and golf clubs, and tennis rackets, as well as structural materials for boats, high-speed railways, and airplanes. Notably, they are considered environmentally friendly because using light materials in vehicle production can decrease carbon emissions. In this video presentation, we will explain what a composite material is and discuss the research methods involved. So, what exactly is a composite material? Essentially, it is a blend of at least two different materials, producing superior physical properties compared to each constituent material individually. Composite materials mainly comprise two components, the matrix and the reinforcement. The matrix binds the reinforcement and maintains the overall shape, while the reinforcement augments the composite strength and rigidity. Therefore, Composite materials offer greater mechanical strength than metals and alloys, yet they have a density of two or less, making them lighter than metals and alloys. The most notable reinforcement is carbon fiber, CF. Carbon fibers are five times lighter yet ten times stronger than steel. They exhibit outstanding mechanical properties on their own. However, when integrated into a specific structure, their bonding capacity can weaken. That's where the matrix comes into play, polymers, such as epoxy, are needed to enhance the adhesion of carbon fibers. In essence, a composite material with improved properties is created through the process of combining reinforcement with the matrix. When applied to aircraft design and production, composite materials can significantly reduce the load and the number of parts due to fewer connections, leading to a decrease in manufacturing costs. Traditional aircraft, made from alloys, are prone to corrosion, necessitating humidity control. However, composite materials like carbon fiber reinforced polymers can effectively address these corrosion issues, offering additional advantages such as the ability to manage onboard temperature and humidity, thus ensuring a comfortable environment for passengers. In fact, recent aircraft models like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the Airbus A350 incorporate over 50% composite materials in their construction. With successful weight reduction leading to increased fuel efficiency, more airlines are eagerly adopting these models. Moreover, the defense sector has already shown a preference for composite materials over traditional ones, aiming to increase load capacity by reducing aircraft weight in vehicles such as unmanned aerial vehicles and reconnaissance aircraft. Above all, composite materials utilized in the transportation industry, such as aviation, must meet stringent mechanical performance specifications. It is of paramount importance to create a database by analyzing the relationships between the formulations, including adhesives and reinforcements like carbon and glass fibers, which constitute composite materials, and their properties. We have been conducting research on these formulations, using atomistic simulations and machine learning, with the goal of effectively utilizing epoxy as a structural adhesive for composite materials. This year, we developed a beta version of the ultra-high-strength adhesive material platform. This platform aims to simplify the modeling and implementation of relationships between complex existing formulations and their properties using machine learning. It illustrates how the properties that influence the bonding strength of materials, such as shear strength and impact strength, may vary based on different formulations of resins, catalysts, softening agents, additives, and curing agents. Currently, this platform incorporates a formulation model developed through machine learning, based on a database provided by researchers with extensive experience in relevant fields. To enhance the accuracy of the adhesive formulation model, we need to gather more databases from related companies. 
However, issues such as security concerns due to potential expertise leakage hinder this process. This obstacle limits knowledge sharing and impedes the systematization of polymeric materials. In light of this, we have employed atomistic simulations such as molecular dynamics to secure more data for implementing machine learning algorithms. In general, the integration of AB Initio and atomistic simulation techniques with machine learning in materials science represents a transformative approach to the design and discovery of novel composite materials, setting a new paradigm in accelerating research and development in this field. AB Initio methods, grounded in quantum mechanics, allow researchers to simulate material behaviors at the electronic level, providing insights into properties like electronic structure, mechanical strength, and thermal conductivity. These methods, including density functional theory, DFD, offer a theoretically rigorous means to predict material properties without empirical inputs, ensuring broad applicability to novel materials. However, the computational cost of AB Initio simulations grows rapidly with the number of atoms involved, often limiting their direct application to relatively small systems or simplistic scenarios. On the other hand, atomistic simulation techniques, like molecular dynamics, MD, or Monte Carlo, MC, simulations, model systems at the scale of atomic interactions. These methods provide dynamic insights into material properties by simulating physical movements and interactions within a material, capturing phenomena like diffusion, structural phase transitions, and mechanical deformation. While less computationally demanding than AB Initio methods, traditional atomistic simulations still require substantial time and resources, particularly as the complexity and size of the simulated system increase. The synergy with machine learning comes as a groundbreaking solution to these challenges. Machine learning algorithms can learn complex patterns and behaviors from large datasets, making them particularly suitable for managing the vast amounts of data generated by computational simulations. For instance, machine learning models can be trained on data from AB Initio simulations to predict the properties of more complex or larger material systems, effectively extending the reach of rigorous quantum mechanical calculations beyond their usual limitations. Furthermore, Data from atomistic simulations serve as training sets for machine learning models known as interatomic potentials or force fields, which can predict system behaviors under various conditions with significantly reduced computational loads. These machine learned models, often based on neural networks, support the simulation of much larger systems or longer time scales than traditionally feasible, providing insights into phenomena like long-term material degradation or the emergent properties of complex composite materials. In the context of composite materials, the marriage of AB Initio and atomistic simulations with machine learning facilitates a more efficient exploration of the vast design space. Researchers can quickly scan through numerous candidate materials and structures, prioritizing those with the most promising predicted properties for detailed study or experimental validation. This approach not only accelerates the discovery of novel composites with desirable properties, such as high strength-to-weight ratios, enhanced thermal stability, or improved corrosion resistance, but also helps to uncover the underlying design rules that govern these properties, contributing to a more principled and systematic approach to materials design. However, computational simulation of polymers is no easy task due to the multitude of variables involved making the acquisition of desired data quite challenging. Unlike metals and ceramics, which have well-defined crystal structures, polymer materials comprise highly complex systems. This is due to the numerous variables in their molecular structures, as well as the variety of materials to consider in their formulations. Furthermore, the intricate simulation procedures, coupled with a pretreatment process, demand considerable knowledge and expertise. Thus, the potential to obtain high-quality data suitable for machine learning largely depends on having research personnel skilled in polymer simulations. In conclusion, by harnessing the strengths of AB Initio and atomistic simulations and integrating them with the advanced pattern recognition and prediction capabilities of machine learning, materials scientists are equipped with a powerful toolkit. This integrated approach significantly accelerates the traditional cycle of materials discovery, offering a faster, 
cost-effective route to the design of novel composite materials that could address the pressing technological challenges of our era. This brings us to the conclusion of our presentation. Many thanks for your attention. This presentation was provided in partnership with Virtual Lab, the company behind the development of the Materials Square online platform, for executing atomistic materials and chemical computations directly on the cloud. We therefore recommend to please give a try to the Materials Square simulation platform by visiting its corresponding website at www.materialsquare.com or more shortly matsku.com as noted in the present slide or alternatively also in the video description below. Furthermore, please do not hesitate to contact us by email, as also shown here on this slide, in case you would like to obtain further information on the various R&D services and solutions for materials and molecular modeling applications that we can provide at Virtual Lab. Many thanks again for your interest and your consideration.